And great to be with you once again around the horn, presented by Coca-Cola, our weekly look inside of West Virginia baseball here at the head coach, Randy Mazie. And that was a fun weekend last weekend. You get the sweep over the Texas Longhorns in Big 12 Conference play. Where do you start with, with how everything went for, for our baseball team last weekend here at home? Why can't they all go like that, you know? <laughs> you know, it's just you, you look at a weekend like that and you know we're capable. Mm -hmm. And you look back – all over the season and you wonder why we haven't played like that every weekend but you know look at big picture type stuff and you know with the young team and it takes time to grow and and I think we've grown up and learned a lot about this team and they've matured some so uh, you always want to play your best baseball at the end of the year but we're playing our best by leaps and bounds right yeah. now yeah no question what do you feel like the biggest thing that your guys have learned about themselves and are learning about what it takes to win consistently at this level the way you need them to? You know, it's hard to really put a finger on that. You know, it's just, I think it's a matter of playing good baseball. It's not that you have to soul search and wonder. It's just that we're, uh, I think we've got uh, a lineup that has some chemistry right now. It has some balance. We're good at the top and the bottom and, and the guys in the middle are starting to play. and. You know, you try and wonder, think of all these reasons why it wasn't going all that great early. It just comes down to playing baseball, mm -hmm. you know. It's uh, And right now, the, uh, like I said, the, the guys in the middle of the lineup are starting to produce. And and uh, it just uh, we're scoring more runs than the other team right now. Yeah, one of those guys in the middle of the lineup is Jackson Kramer, named Big 12 Player of the Week for the second consecutive week. Pretty cool stuff for that young man. We've talked a lot about him. You know it's always been there, and it just seems like it's it's opening up at the right time for him with the way he's hitting the baseball. Yeah, and it came at a great time. You know, we really needed him to get good, and he's gotten good, and then some. He's gotten really good. I think his batting average over the last 10 or 15 games is ridiculous. Yeah. Uh, so it's great to have that presence in the lineup, you know. And uh, Jackson's uh, – uh, it's pretty interesting when when Jackson bebops around here in a good mood and mm -hmm. and is enjoying himself and enjoying baseball. He he plays really well. Mm -hmm. uh, so hopefully he's going to learn from this and always be the happy-go-lucky Jackson we all love and and I think the results will continue to come for him. Yep. Final home week of the year in 2016 here at Monongalia County Ballpark. We'll finish up this weekend with a a senior weekend, I suppose you could say, with the non-conference series with William and Mary coming to town. What's your, your biggest hope, obviously, outside of playing well and winning games, what's your, your biggest hope about how this, this final week at home is going to wrap up, leading us up into a, a big stretch run here? Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of hoping that you know all the, the losses early in the year to the midweek teams uh, were because we weren't playing great baseball. Mm -hmm. and, and now that I think we have the right lineup in place, uh, I hope, like we talked about, playing good baseball will take over, you know. And when we are losing those games early in the year on midweeks, we're still trying to figure out uh, who's going to pitch those games, who's going to play what position. And now that we're settled in on that and playing good baseball, I just hope that will continue regardless of who the opponent is. Yep. Coach, playing great baseball. A lot of fun to watch. Thanks for the time. Okay, thanks, Jeff. Yep. Comments to the head coach, Randy Mazey. William and Mary this upcoming weekend. Different type of schedule. Doubleheader Friday beginning at 4 p.m. Eastern here at Monongalia County Ballpark with a single game at Sunday at 1. This has been another edition of Around the Horn presented by Coca-Cola.